Greetings and welcome to your new video. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we will fix the error getting keys failed with error this and fail to get firmware JSON from server when you try to use future restore or any other tool that uses future restore like downrain, sunstorm, etc. The method shown in this video is completely free for everybody. So as you can see, I am trying to downgrade my iPhone 7 and I am getting this error. The fix is very simple. First of all, open a search engine like your favorite search engine like Google and simply type here wiki proxy and press enter. And here you'll find this very first link. All right, just open it and you will see this file that is wikiproxy.py and you will find this code here. What you will do is simply hit this button to download raw file, all right? And you will get this wikiproxy.py in your downloads folder. Now to run it, simply open a new terminal and we will have to install these packages to make it work. It is a local web server. so. First of all, we will add the repo universe. Simply type in your password, press enter, and simply let it complete. All right, once this is done, just run the second command, press enter, and let it complete. All right, once this is done, we will install Python 3 and Python 3 pip. So simply run this command press enter and wait for it to complete yes and press enter so now as you can see the installation is almost complete for python 3 and python 3 pip so i will wait for it to fully complete first all right so once this command is complete we will run the fourth command so it is pip 3 install request py query and flask all right press enter and it will install all these packages. So wait for this process to complete. All right, so as you can see all four commands that I have listed here are done. Now you can close out of it and then we will run the wikiproxy.py. So go to downloads or whichever your directory is for this file left click and open a new terminal now type python 3 wiki proxy dot py make sure that the path is where this file is located all right press enter and when you see this this means that the local web server is now successfully running now guys once this web server is running please do not close it you can minimize it if you want but do not close this window and in another window again run future restore so i will run it so that i can show you that it indeed fixes the firmware keys error so we will wait for the process for future restore to complete all right as you can see we are at getting firmware keys and you will see that it will get the firmware keys and you will see the output right here in our the wikiproxy.py terminal window so we will wait also guys if you want to check out the full guides on future restore for all the supported devices they are in the description all right and eventually you will see getting keys for your iphone and you will see this output in the terminal window one for wikiproxy.py and you will see it second time getting firmware keys and you can see the firmware key error is now fixed you will see this error this can be easily fixed you can simply rerun the whole command by pressing up arrow press enter and it will be fixed also if you see this segmentation fault i have a video on how to fix this error also you'll find it in the description so let me fix it quickly and show you that this works 
All right, guys, as you can see, the getting firmware keys error is now fixed. And you can see my device nonce has been set successfully. Now to show you that things work, I will simply restore this device using future restore. So as you can see, nonce is set. I will remove these two. As you can see guys, all errors are fixed and it is now extracting the file system from the IPSW. All right guys, as you can see, after extracting the IPSW, the process is ongoing without any error, without any problem. And guys, rest of the process, you all know, it is the regular process for future restore. So I will pause the video here and we will wait for it to complete to make sure that everything works just fine. Sending file system now. All right, guys, as you can see, restoring succeeded without any problem, without any error. And I have successfully downgraded my iPhone 7 to iOS 15.4.1 or whatever version you want to downgrade to. That's all for this video, guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.